ultra-wide headboard provides a punchy focal point in a bedroom. Combine that with a hidden shelf, and you've got a striking piece of furniture that provides a place for lighting, drinks, decor, plants, and cell phones. You'll need two by twos and two by fours. For my project size, I'm using four two by twos and three two by fours. The two by twos will frame the headboard and the two by fours will provide extra support and serve as a hidden shelf. A large piece of plywood, MDF, strand board, press board, or other type of large board. A miter saw, safety glasses, measuring tape, a sanding block or sandpaper, and a drill. Four two and a half inch screws and 17 one and a half inch screws, seven L brackets, and some small screws that won't poke through the width of your large board. Wallpaper, whether you use peel and stick or more traditional pasted or unpasted, wallpaper on an extra wide headboard is a great way to add visual interest to a room without having to do an entire wall of it especially if your style or taste change regularly. Spray paint or stain in a drop cloth. And if desired, some sticky felt spots. First, measure for the headboard. My bed is five feet across, and I want the headboard to extend out on each side by an additional one and a half feet. So my total desired width is eight feet. Since I have a window to contend with, I want my height to stop before the lower molding so my headboard will be 54 inches tall from floor to top. The legs should extend all the way to the floor, but the headboard itself doesn't. I'm going to use a four foot by eight foot piece of strand board as I can purchase that size off the shelf and I won't have to do any additional cutting to get the headboard to my desired size. Cut two two by twos to your height measurement minus the width of a two by two. So 54 minus one and a half inches is 52 and a half inches one of the two by twos will be to the width measurement. Since mine is a full eight foot wide, I won't need to cut the top two by two at all. Cut the last two by two to your width measurement minus the width of two two by twos. So 96 inches minus three inches is 93 inches. Next, cut the two by fours. I'll want the hidden shelf to sit lower than the top of the headboard. So I'm subtracting a few inches from my desired height and cutting two two by fours to that length. The last two by four should be the same width as a headboard. Sand all of the wood with a sanding block or sandpaper until smooth. Use stain or paint to finish the wood to your desired color. Allow to fully dry before continuing. While you're waiting for the wood to dry, apply the wallpaper to one side of the large board. Once the stained or painted wood dries, place the two by twos on top of the headboard and ensure everything lines up. The longest two by two will go along the top, then the two side pieces under that, and the last piece fits between the legs of the headboard. Turn the headboard upside down and place the two by twos in the same spots. Drive the one and a half inch screws through the back of the headboard and into the two by twos to secure. I used five screws along the top four on each side, and four along the bottom. Next, lay the two by fours out so that the longest piece is along the top and the two shorter pieces are legs. Use two two and a half inch screws to secure each piece to its adjoining piece. Place the two by fours behind and up against the back of the headboard. Use the brackets to secure in place. I use two on each of the sides and three along the top. I used the screws that came with the brackets for securing into the two by four, but since my headboard is a half inch thick, I used shorter half inch screws to secure the brackets to the headboard. If desired, add felt spots to the back of the two by fours to protect your walls. Move the headboard in place behind your bed. Ensure that you either secure the headboard to your bed frame or secure it to the wall for safety. Use the shelf for decor, string lights, or as a catch-all for items you might need within reach, like phones, remotes, a drink, or your favorite eye mask. On the fly, DIY.